Well, good afternoon. So, this is my carburetor. It's a Halley Quadrajet. Uh, I had to jet it down two jets and did a little tuning with my buddy's uncle. So now I'm just trying to get my low or my high idle to be a little bit lower. And a little screw with that one with the spring on it way down in there. So I'm just trying to figure that out and this should be good to go finally. I think everything should be working good. I already checked the plugs and they're running pretty good. They're not lean or not too rich like they were before. So yeah, I'm gonna start with this. Well the pliers didn't work. This didn't work. So now I'm gonna try all these. It should be a crime to put something in that weird of an angle. Well, that's all it takes, I guess. The smallest screwdriver you can find. What a pain in the butt. You can turn it a little bit. I'm gonna go, I only did a quarter turn, you can see how that works. I guess next time it's colder out, that you gotta adjust it more, and no, this is all I gotta use. Okay, so this is about a week after those previous videos you just saw. It did end up getting colder out when I started the truck and it is still idling pretty high for the cold start. And it's like, a, it, it seems like it got worse honestly since I adjusted it and then I did adjust it the right way. You're supposed to back it out to drop the idle a little bit. But this is kind of a better look at the screw. It's kind of hard to show on the video, but to lower the idle and back it out to raise the idle, tighten it. So I got to go back through this process. It says you have to let the engine warm up before you do it, before you adjust it. So I guess I got to let the truck warm up, but it doesn't really make sense because either way it does the same thing. But I don't know, I guess it's procedure. We'll see what happens. I'm going to let this pig warm up for a few minutes. I should shovel the snow before it freezes my door shut again. So you give it a little half pump, see what happens. And it still fires right up. So it seems pretty simple. You just gotta hold the butterfly open the throttle slightly and then adjust the screw. So I'm gonna try this, and see what happens. But don't drink, kids, because it is bad for your health. That's why I don't drink. 
now that I got my handy dandy tool that I know I need, it should be easier this time. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but essentially all I did was hold my finger here and then tap the throttle cable a little bit. And it held it closed, obviously. And I'm just going to go up in here to that little screw. You can back it out a little bit more. I'm gonna do like a maybe half turn this time or a whole turn just because of how much it didn't do anything last time. <laughs> so I can get it on there. No, it's hard to do this with one hand and trying to look through the camera. And part of my, my ignorance on these things this is my first time working on one of these well I had another K30 but it didn't last long I had it and then got a new job and had to sell it to move so it was like my first time actually dealing with one of these carburetors and all that stuff it comes down to Hondas I can build them from the ground up essentially with no issues but this is a learning experience so I apologize if it's hard to watch and the directions are also really weird because it says to hold the throttle wide open to get to the screw, but you don't have to at all. And, well, it only says that in the picture to hold it wide open, but the directions themselves say to just do the whole hold down on the butterfly and tap the throttle, essentially. So, I don't know, probably doing this wrong. Directions are kind of unclear, unless I'm just not seeing it. But, we'll see what happens. Let's fire it up. It says not to hit the throttle at all for the next startup. Just turn it and it should be set where the idle screw is after adjustment. So, let's see. Hopefully the sound isn't too bad on all these videos now, but let's see what happens. Yeah, it still kicks down good. It's a lot better if it stays like that. And this is a carb. If you're wondering what it is or what exact details on it. But that's what it is, this is the old one that came off the truck. The old factory quadrujet. I mean, I have a rebuild kit for it, so one of these days maybe I'll tinker with it. But I don't really know what was wrong with it. I mean, it was. The guy was saying it was something to do with the thermal thing in here or whatever. Just not letting it, or I don't know, something was going bad with it. Right. Essentially, it was just once it got warm, it wouldn't want to idle. You have to sit there and give it throttle until it would, or so it would stay idling. And then once you're driving, it was all right. But anytime it was trying to idle and it was warm, it just bogged out. It was a pain in the butt to keep running. But yeah, so one of these days I'll probably mess with this when I have free time if that ever happens. So now I'm going to go down to town and grab an oil filter. I got oil from Walmart because it's way cheaper than from where I am. And they didn't have a filter unless it was like a Fram filter, which I don't use those in any of my vehicles because they're cardboard. So I'm going to go order one from my buddy's shop and probably get lunch while I'm out. But yeah, the, the oil in this is already contaminated with fuel just from driving it from here to my buddy's shop and that's well, I don't know, a few miles I mean it's quite a few miles but still 
that's how rich it was running so I just want to get this oil out of there and go from there I also got to do oil pan gasket on it so maybe I'll do that at the same time and hopefully that'll be the end of the oil leak without seeing the little baby girl. about gas prices but doggone man I'm not gonna be able to afford to drive this thing anymore literally not even trying to be dramatic
to be driving it around and be reliable again. I know the wheels are kind of old, but I think I'm going to repaint them eventually. But for now, it's much safer. I'll tell you what. I think it looks better either way, in my or in my opinion. Well, that's going to be about it for this video. I know I've been focusing more on the square body than anything lately. But that's just because I've been trying to get this thing done, and also like, these parts are free, the wheels and whatnot. So, yeah, it's a matter of money and time. I also got the... CRX I gotta work on, the wagon, and my hatch in the garage, but it'll come soon. I'm sorry if you're getting bored of this truck, but if you like the videos and want to keep up with the projects, just like, subscribe, and follow along. It's a slow adventure, but I'll try to keep it entertaining. So, then I gotta get all this snow dug out before it freezes and turns into ice again. So, thanks for watching.